Hello. So, um, yeah, welcome to a little walkthrough of how Hurley, aka Boo, um, works. Um, as requested by a people on Discord. So, um, yeah, what I wanted to do with this level was make something where, you know, if you took the time and followed, you could see absolutely everything that happens in the background. Um, so I'll show you everything in here. What I won't be giving away is some of the timings of things that happen, because that would just totally ruin the fun. Uh, but without further ado, um, here we go. Um, so it's a small plot. I'm almost totally maxed out. I've got a few blocks spare if I wanted to, you know, hide or change a few things. But as you can see, absolutely every block used, apart from a very, very, very sparing few um, strategically placed, are totally see-through. Um, so you can see everything um, and the entire workings of the level, um, just built around the bedrock. So, what we have to begin with when you first start the level, um, yeah, even if you rush, these two guards here um, are stopped by this block. So this is a concept which um, really is incredibly powerful as a builder because it allows you to hide things completely from the radar, um, you know, things that happen in the background on destroying hollow cubes. You can see here I've got a, a diagonal corner just here. Um, that this guard gets stuck up against, despite the fact that there is no way to get to this guard, you know, from here. It's it's blocked off completely. So both of these guards are triggered by the destruction of this block, and then they carry on their path down and underneath. So the raider will come down through here. You'll see the guard going along through there. Um, but you'll also see I've got another path here from a guard that's coming the other way. So what that does, and this is a bit of a, a, a psychological trick, this guard actually disappears up here and gets held by this hollow block here. Um, but with this guard going backwards and forwards here, um, you know, the, the, uh, the hornet that you saw a little while ago, um, that <coughs> leads them to believe that that guard is still, you know, free and moving instead of held up here. Up here, I've got a... Um, Fuck like all, can't remember. Um, he walks backwards and forwards a little bit before also getting stuck against this cube here. Um, that one there is a second wave cube just to give a different way out, which I'll come to later. So as you come around here, I've got a trap here and I've got a trap up here, you know, standard stuff. Um, but when you do, when you delete this or when you uh, destroy it, if you jump, if you're up here, you can then see what's going on. You can see this guard start to walk up there and walk backwards. And the hornet that gets stuck here also goes up and gets stuck at the next cube that's just up here. Now, uh, a couple of pistons just to slow people down and get them to stop for a second so that this... Um, bolt shot uh, can fire um, with Hunter on it so that yeah, even if they move backwards they can still get got. Um, what you don't see is this hollow cube here, which gets destroyed by those arrows. Um, and on this corner here, I've then got the hornet held. And on this corner up here, I've got another hornet held. Then we get into timings. Um, let me just come around here quickly. I'm just going to nip in through here. So what we've got on this side is our hornet on this side. So this hornet comes round, gets held just here. Once that's destroyed, it comes down, comes through, and gets held just here by that second cube. We then come up here, and I've got this diagonal, which is that one that gets destroyed by the bolt shot. As soon as that's destroyed, this hornet rushes through here and drops with a DMS drop. The timing element is then getting this side, if I come round, here we go. So this is our other side. Here's our hornet. So he comes around, gets stuck there, comes down through here. He disappears up here and gets stuck here. The other hornet comes in the other way. The raider hopefully doesn't notice this one. It's harder to see. It's tucked in the corner um, and, and more uh, hideable. He then comes up around here, gets stuck against that diagonal. Once that gets done, the timing is wait for that one to drop down there 
the raider panics shortly afterwards we drop so they drop just slightly after each other and this one catches them uh, and that's usually the case this one dropping from here very rarely catches anybody um, it just drops here now what this chap does is he hangs around in here for quite some time um, waiting for the raider to move on um, he is also held up by all of these blocks um, but once this one's destroyed, waits around for an amount of time and then drops out of here and rushes after um, and catches them wherever they are in the level. That's the, the, the DMS and drop and trigger, uh, so DMS drop and trigger um, side of things for the first half. What we have up here is just a nice little combination, um, which it's got a few different ways of catching out. So this um, assassin hides just far enough up there so that if um, if he's triggered, if he, if he sees the raider at the same time that the raider breaks this and fires those bolts, the assassin doesn't get killed by the bolts. No point having them here or having them here or tucked in here. Um, as soon as they see the raider, they're going to move forwards enough, they're going to get hit by the bolts. So he's tucked out the way there so that doesn't happen. Once this, once this gets destroyed, uh, let me come around this way. This assassin waits here. Um, no, this is a, a. We've got masquerade on here to stop him moving as well. So the masquerade here um, basically just nudges forward a little bit and ducks back out the way again so he doesn't get hit by the bolts. And then an amount of time later drops down facing this way so that he'll see the raider either up the ramp or down the ramp um, and then obviously engages that way. If the raider jumps up, this guard is spending most of his time looking down there with occasional glances back. Um, and because uh, I think this guard, yeah, he's only got plating and combat ready, so he fires quicker. Um, we'll usually run round here um, and down the ramp and engage from the ramp here as well, as opposed to up there, unless the raider is, is hanging up there on their, um, on their grapple. Um, so yeah, nice little combination, and then when you escape up here, if you're not paying attention, you're going to get caught by uh, this behind as well, which has got Hunter and Relentless, which is probably the best combination for getting around a steep little corner. You know, people will get got as far back as probably here um, by that um, trap if they're not careful. Coming down here, um, we've got um, Pitch Perfect Eagle Eye on this. It gets destroyed about here. Um, and that again has got uh, double down and relentless. Um, again, no real point trying to catch them sideways because they can also escape downwards and into here. There's too many escape routes to, to bother with Hunter. So do that. Because it's um, double down, they'll either get got on the way out or um, lots of people get caught, particularly on um, Uh, raids with two people, whatever they're called, has gone straight out of my head. And the second raider coming behind gets caught by the second one because obviously the range then is all the way back to here. So that's pretty good. Um, right, coming down here, this bit's nice and fun. So as we come round here, um, we've got um, bolt shot there. We've got a hornet that flies around. Um, I think he's got slow uh, sluggish on. Um, we've got this chap hiding right round the corner. Um, so he doesn't get engaged until you know the raider comes around here and again I've got combat ready and plating on that so yeah he's a difficult bugger to kill um, tucked away in there and here just covering a couple of angles just for speedrunners just some long you know long range type stuff that hopefully will get them the fun bit though is this here so again we've got another diagonal angle there we have got an assassin that's hiding outside just here. Um, and I'm going to have to come around. And we'll show you. The assassins are really, really good for this kind of stuff because they don't die from height. So you don't have to have a really obvious path. Most of the other guards, you need to have a path that ends within a couple of blocks of where they're going to drop into the base. Um, so you can you can figure out you can follow paths and find you know quite easily. Assassins makes it much harder. So this assassin is hiding in here, right at the back of the base, 
a couple of blocks off the floor. You can hear him if you come round the outside. Um, most people don't. You know, we've got these things in the background. So, you know, if they're firing, you wouldn't hear him anyway. Um, so he gets held here. Once it's destroyed, he does a little dance backwards and forwards like this, just to, just to make sure um, it, yeah, it gets noticed. Um, and people see him and, and they pay very little attention and don't wait for him to come in behind because that's obvious that's what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, he then sort of does this, then runs up the side and then the path is just around the outside here. And then we just drop straight down here and we're into the base and come running in behind at full pelt you know i do a couple of little bits of looking around um in some places like here for example just in case the raider is um, backtracking and going through some paths like that um one of the tricks as well with guard pathing is look around while you're pathing your guards um, the amount of levels where a guard will come legging it past yeah i would have been sat just there and they'll come legging it past because they're laser focused on the path and moving forwards. When you are running your guards around your bases, um, like here for example, I will look there, look down here, look up, you know, look around as you go around the base like this. You know, be as, be as absolutely mad as you like with the, uh, with, with the, with the mouse or the right stick. Um, you know, they're still going to pass through and any point you capture, you know, someone running around or in a different part of the room, they'll stop and they'll focus on it. So yeah, that makes them much, much, much more deadly. Um, so he runs through um, and effectively hides here. So if he does go past um, the guard somehow, um, the assassin will hide here from outside. Um, last couple of bits in here. Um, yeah, we've got um, a couple of uh, plasma sentinels um, just with uh, what have we got on here plasma cloud uh, plasma cloud and eagle eye because it's a bit further away this one's tucked away um, you might have noticed as I ran through can catch them again in the uh, in the in the room that follows um, but yeah this is pretty pretty standard stuff these guards um, both have armor uh, increased fire rate on him and probably eagle eye on him. Uh, oh, fire rate and um, seek bolts on him, sorry, just to make him a little, a little bit more deadly. Um, and then we have uh, our Hornet here, who is tied to the path so he doesn't come chasing out. I want him to stay patrolling this room and not get drawn into fighting um, in the room before, um, just to keep the threat level high. Um, and this chap again, um, movement speed and attack rate um, runs around in this room mostly um, uh, hides a little bit behind here um, but yeah again I don't want him engaging um, with bloodlust or anything so try and keep him in this room uh, that way um, so once you've completed the level um, for those that keep exploring you do get a path into this side um, as you come under here this disappears because this is second wave um, which then opens up this path, um, which actually, while I'm here, uh, I've got a few blocks. This room does confuse people quite a bit, so I'm going to close it off. It's a bit more closed off. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of empty space in there that I didn't need to fill, so I haven't. Um, but yeah, so this will now disappear here, which then the, then leads them into this side so they can have an explore around here. And if they come up here, these then end up disappearing because 95% of people don't find this entrance um, and they drop straight out here. Now, if they didn't get got by the guard that drops out of here, because he doesn't run all the way to the end, um, he does tuck himself in here, um, so as they come running past, they get chased out of the base, just as a final little scare. Um, but yeah, that's effectively the whole level. Um, all of the thinking, don't know how many hours have gone into tweaking and changing and playing with it, um, but yeah, that's, that's effectively how Hurley works. Have a go, have fun. <laughs>